I was asked recently um, about on a bubble sort of thing how to I invert the bubble sort so it sort of the opposite direction. I thought, yeah, I could do that, but it would be nice just to have a, a reverse function that reverses an array, just whatever it's in, so you could bubble sort it and then reverse it afterwards. Or if you just need to reverse an array, then you've got it. So this was my um, demonstration for reversing an array. So in my particular case, I've I've done it as a fixed size array. It doesn't have to be, um, and I've done it as an integer array. So this is just for testing purposes. You're just loading the array. It doesn't do anything in the in the function. It's just really just to load up the array. So you, this would be the bit that would be replaced by other code. You've got to fill your array with content. Um, this is the bit that does it. So let's go and look at that function. So I've got a couple of counters, I've brought the list in, the array in, I've got the size of the array minus one so I can count backwards from it because remember it's, it's zero index array and I've got the other counter starting at the other end from zero. So I declare uh, an empty array, a, te a temporary array that's got that's the size of the array that I'm working with. Going down that array, I fill up my temporary array keep incrementing the counter until I've got an array um, in reverse and then I just overwrite the original array before it goes back. So let's see how that works rather than me trying to explain it. So the first bit as I said just initializes a tail element array and he just loads it up. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It doesn't need to be in order, it is just literally, I've done it in order so you can see it's reversed, but he's just going to reverse the list. So we'll step through. So you'll see, initializes the counters. 9, for this one, zero for that one. Remember, it's a list uh, minus one, and we start at zero. And then here we go. So we can see it's going down the array, and it's taking from the bottom, putting it in the top. So that's doing the reversing. So this one's counting uh, down. From the bottom up, this one's counting from the top down, across and over, and then as we drop into the next array, all I'm going to do is overwrite what's in here with what's in here. So one at a time, okay, there we go, that's copied it over, and then when we get back to main, So back to main now you can see my array is now being reversed. So there you go. That's one method of just reversing a list rather than resorting the list in reverse order. Hope that helps.